Hello everyone, Sister Candice, growing in grace. I want to thank you, first of all, for your prayers. I was in so, so much pain yesterday. And to God be the glory, this is Sunday night. And I am so, so much better. I can't thank you enough for your prayers. Uh, I know God hears us. Um, and He's taking care of me. But I want to first off say that if you're out there and you need prayer tonight, know that there's somebody praying for you. I pray for the ones that watch me that don't comment. I pray for the ones that do comment. I pray for the ones that don't even sub me. I just pray that if there's one under the sound of my voice tonight, know that I'm praying for you. God, I may not know the situation, and I may not even know who you are, but God knows who you are. There's a lot of people hurting. There's a lot of people with sickness. There's a lot of people that, you know, are going through things that we don't even know nothing about, but God does. And I pray that God will give you the strength that you need. Um, you know, I posted in my community about how hard this sickness has been on me. It's been very hard. Depression, anxiety, um, overwhelmed, trying to trust. But you know, God knows that we're trying to trust. And He sees that we're trying and we're doing the best that we can do. And know that God sees that about you too. But I have a devotional that I want to share, and it's entitled The Apple Tree. And the verse comes from James set, chapter 1, verse 17. It says, We have a straggly apple tree in our backyard, a golden delicious. Unfortunately, the small, wormy fruit is neither true golden nor delicious. Over the years, my husband has pampered and pruned the tree to no avail. He even threatened to cut it down entirely until I pointed out it provides shelter for the small birds in our neighborhood when the hawk swoops down in our yard looking for a feathered meal. Then early one September morning, I glanced out the window and caught the sight of a mama deer and her two fawn, still with their spots. The deer were eating the apples off the tree and gazing grazing on those that had fallen on the ground. While watching the deer family, I realized our apple tree was a blessing after all. That thought gave me pause. I considered other things we possessed we no longer find useful or a blessing. Outgrown clothes that we could donate to the church thrift store, the seldom used lawnmower we could offer the neighbor's teenage son that had expressed his interest in starting his own lawn care business. I thought, too, of the people like Matthew in the Bible. As a ta tax collector for the oppressive Romans, Matthew was snubbed by his own people. Jesus recognized his worth. Imagine Matthew's joy when the Savior passed by his tax table, table saying, Come, follow me. Our scraggly apple tree is not a majestic redwood or even a tree bearing pie-worthy fruit, but it provided shade and nourishment for the little deer family. It, too, has a place in God's kingdom. And that made me think of this little book. Brother Scotty and Sister Karen gifted me this book. Y'all seen my my video of what all they sent me. Here comes Tucker. And y'all know that, come here. Come right here so they can see you. Come here. Lay down with mama. Come on. Lay down. Come here. Tucker. Mm -hmm. You hear him growl? Um, I thought about this book. When I get through with it, I'm going to donate it. And so, Brother Scotty and Miss Karen, as the Lord looks upon that, he sees that they've blessed somebody else with this book, not just me. So, we can be a blessing to others, but then it can trickle down when that gift that you've given them, they donate or give to somebody that they know that can use it too. I pray this is a blessing to you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. But the Lord loves you so much more. And don't forget about the lineup on Tuesday. I will be on, um, the Outlaw Gals will be four to five. Yours truly will be, about, be five to six. 
From 6 to 7 is uh, Joyful Stephanie. From 7 to 9 is Reverend Dream. And from 9 to 10 is Brother Eric. I hope y'all join us.